Hey guys, Cartoon Mark here. Um, today we're going to be looking at the under caricature and the five shapes and their relationships to the other features from Tom Richman's book, The Mad Art of Caricature. All right, um, full disclaimer, I do not know at all about caricature, guys. I do it as a hobby. I love it. I absolutely love it. I think it's great. And I think you, if you uh, have any interest in cartooning or portraits or anything like that, you should really give it a try. Anyway, here we go. Um, where all the heavy lifting is done. Uh, go get Tom's book, by the way. Go buy it from his website. Uh, the basic, the five shapes. The eyes, nose, and mouth, all right? Everybody has them. But what makes a person them what makes them who they are uh, when you see somebody from a distance even from like the way they walk you know it's them even though you haven't seen their face so everything is just broken down into these simple shapes when you look at a face I try to simplify it so this would be uh, Madonna's here if you looked at it okay larger nose small mouth opening wide cheeks Okay, and here's Ed O'Neill. Eyes are closer together. Large nose, mouth pushed up. And then uh, Jack Black. This is all the heavy lifting is done. One eye open more than the other. Don't even worry about the details, the wrinkles, the eyebrows, uh, the way the mouth curls. You know, you, when someone sits down in front of you or if you're doing an illustration, break it right down the five shapes and the head shape the most important part okay is uh, the T shape and the head shape so let's give it a try with this guy here what are you guys seeing here in this guy let's give it a shot all right so if we were to do it in this style it's all we're doing is the under caricature and then you would do what Tom says is your surface caricature so let's try it with this gentleman here See, and this eye is a little bit more open than the other one. Kind of wide apart and eyes kind of tilt down. You want to pay attention to angles. Okay. Again, very simple shapes. Miss that one up a little bit. There we go. Okay. And uh, he's got something like that. I think I got that T-shape down pretty good. And you want to look, uh, where's the widest part of their face? Probably right here near the mouth line. So I could just cheat and do two dots. I'm going really exaggerated here, guys. I don't know. And the thinner part gets skinnier as he goes to the top. Think of a water balloon. The push and pull of a water balloon as the head, okay? Almost got a rectangle shape to his head. Okay, and he does have the recessed chin. So I would go, I would stop here and I would bring the shoulders down and the chin. I don't want to get detailed at all, but it would be something like that for me. That would be the under caricature of that guy. Then you would do your surface caricature, all right? which I don't want to get into in this video, but we'll just do a quick a quick rendering here. And you would work this out, all right? Yeah. Um, something like this. And again, this isn't about surface caricature today in this video. This is just about the under caricature, all right? I think that a pretty good uh, shot right there. Let's see what else we got. How about this young lady here? You don't want to distort either. Okay, this is distorted. This would be the exaggeration, all right? Real quick. Hopefully that's in the shot there. Um, okay, under caricature, five shapes, that's it. 
Eyes, nose, and mouth, and head shape. Head shape, T shape. Eyes are generally appear bigger on kids because their heads aren't developed yet and the eyes just appear bigger. And also their noses are higher up, closer to the nose on this young lady. So we're going like that. Let me push this way up there like that. She's got a larger chin for a young lady. And then I would go from there, all right? If I were to flesh it out and do the surface caricature, it might go something like this. Alrighty. Again, it's hard to see what I'm doing here with the uh, lines. This is the direction I would go. And ears generally appear lower on kids' heads. And that's the surface. That's the under caricature. I started to flesh it out with a little bit of surface caricature. Okay. How about, um, I was going to use something from the iPad, but let's just stick with the book. How about this guy? I don't know, he look like Warren Buffett. Let's try it. Okay, remember, think back. How would you start? Uh, very simple. This is all we're going to do. There is the five examples of the underlying five shapes and their relationships. Let's try it with this guy. Warren Buffett look-alike here. All right. I'm having fun. I like that. This is my favorite part of caricature, of seeing what can come of this. All right, I'm seeing small eyes. Generally speaking, on older people, the eyes are generally smaller. Not always. And the ears appear to grow more as you get old. They continue to keep growing. Ears and nose, I've noticed. Okay. Uh, I'm seeing, I'm going to put the uh, eyes kind of close here. This eye is a lot more open than the other one. His nose is a little more squat, but uh, what I'm seeing is a large space between the nose and the mouth. So I would do that. And I'm seeing the uh, square type of head, all right? Just think of square, and now the most powerful part is your head shape. That's what Tom Richmond always says. That's where you're going to get your most bang for your buck. Right. The, where's the widest part? I see the widest part just below the eye line. Okay? And then it comes in from there. And its cheeks are sunken in and come down there and it's squared off here. Don't make it harder than it is. See this angle comes in. In. Let me get that in more. And a squared off type of chin. What do you think of this head shape, guys? Is this Would that work? If I were to flesh it out, I don't know, maybe. But that would be my under caricature, and then I would do the surface caricature. Just fill pages with under caricature, with head shapes and T-shapes. That's what Tom says. I don't want to give away all this book here. I want you to go buy it. I'm just looking for... Uh... All right, Tom's got a picture here, whether he knows it or not. Uh, Tom, I find a hard guy to caricature. I don't know why. Uh, this is Tom Richmond. We're going to try to do an under caricature with him. I don't know if my uh, pad is in the frame here, but let's hope it is. I think it is. I can't see the camera. All right, what I'm seeing with Tom is eyes kind of close together. Got kind of a rectangle shape, I would say. Let's remember that. I'm not even looking at this. I'm looking at him. Do things on your own. Use Instagram, guys. And look at other caricature artists and just use theirs as uh, models. So uh, we got some people coming in here. It might get loud. So I'm seeing some 
this eye is definitely bigger and wider open. Uh, we're gonna, again, we're gonna keep them close together. I'm not seeing much angle with these eyes. Again, just a surf, just an under caricature we're doing. I'm looking at that blue shaded area. I didn't know his nose was that long, but it is. Got kind of a large area between the nose and the mouth. It's kind of quirky like that. And uh, all right, let's finish it out. Where's the widest part of his face? Kind of at the cheekbones. But uh, he's definitely got more mass, I think, um, above the eye. It gets kind of big up here. I drew him in his caricature workshop. I wish I could do it again. Um, I was still kind of newer to caricature then. Chin kind of goes at a little bit of a weird angle here. But that's what I would do in his neck. Tom works out a lot, unlike me. <laughs> So he's got that kind of defined neck. So that's uh, my under caricature of Tom Richmond. I think we got some good shapes going here. Let's, let's see if we can fit a few more in here. I love this section on live caricature. I really do. Let's try this young lady here. I'll right, make this a little smaller. Try to fit it in the center. All right. She's got the classic rainbow eyes I'm seeing. Um, long bridge to the nose. I think that would be what we're exaggerating around, rounded off nose. And I think we're gonna always draw through like ghost line. Like, you know, don't try to match it up. I learned to just go right through it. I think that's a good uh, T shape right there. Widest part. I think she's got some wide jaw, jaw lines there. So we're going to do that. And she does have a high forehead. So I would do that for her under caricature. I like that. I like this. I like this. My kids are a little tricky. I struggle with kids, I'll be honest with you. But I think I'm getting better. Any more we can use from Tom's book? Oh... Um, Hey, there's is that Keelan Parham. I got books on him. Check out his book. All right, I think we're gonna be doing. Let's just do this guy here. All right, we'll finish up with this guy here. Hopefully, it's in the shot. Um, the eyes are kind of drooping down a little bit of an angle there. Right, there's space with that mustache. All right, the widest part is obviously up here. Got an odd shaped head, he really does. But he does have a, a rounded or squared off jaw there. But obviously the ears. I would work on that a little more. I think I'd come in, come out with that jaw. Oh, yeah, that just did it right there. And I think I'd push this even more. Yeah. See, I'd go somewhere in between. Right like that. This is how it all starts. So, the lesson is, when you're doing this live, you gotta do all this in your head, okay? <laughs> Here's the kicker. Do all this in your head, and you'll be good. Uh, it's hard to do with distractions and everything. Again, uh, here's my under caricatures, head shapes, T shapes. Here's the letter T. Want to pay attention to that. Again, guys, I do not know it all, but I give it my all. How's that for a tagline? This guy's more squat right here. Okay, you see that? See that? Want to pay attention to that shape on your victims. I mean models. Go get the book. Thanks for watching, guys. Cartoon Mark here. Drop a comment. How do you start your caricature? Give me a like and a subscribe. Thanks, guys.